I remember waking up really early to go to the lakes with my dad and my uncles. And I remember the fog lifting off the lake and I remember us taking the boat out into the middle of the lake and, and fishing. I really do remember those smells and those sights and that feeling of that morning of not knowing what the day is gonna bring for us. I love being able to travel to different river systems. And for me, there's, there's nothing better than something new, something challenging, and something different. The Columbia River is an incredible rainbow fishery. Being able to spay fish in such a large system and connecting with a big rainbow is just as exciting as steelheading is for me. I moved here in 96, and I've been spay fishing since 97 on the river. The fish are descendants of what used to be before all the dams on the Columbia system. So we have residualized landlocked steelhead. They're pretty spectacular. They've got huge tails and a long, powerful body. I've gotten them quite big into the high teens. To be connected to something that's so large and so powerful and so wild, it's uh, just a special connection. Fall on the Columbia for me is prime time. The river is a lot lower than it will be typically in the summertime, so it opens up a lot of riffles and runs, uh, typical steelhead type water. I think what I, I love about spay fishing in general, as cliche as it may sound, it's kind of like dancing with a rod. Every movement has a purpose and being able to do every move correctly and have it fly out <laughs> into the middle of the river is a very satisfying process. Well, it's almost a whole other sport, just the casting aspect of spay. It's almost like sometimes the fish get in the way of the casting, but uh, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> when you first start spay casting, you're always chasing the magic bullet, thinking that the rod or the line will make you a better caster. But there's no substitute for putting in hard work. I want people to go away with more than just having caught a fish. It's been really satisfying teaching people not only just how to cast, but how to read a bigger river like we have here. I'm getting a lot of clients that are coming here because they're looking for the same type of experience as steelheading. The people that put the time in and the effort, they get rewarded. <laughs>